I'm Michael Spender, I'm Museum and Arts Manager for the Borough of Poole. And I'm Tom Roberts, an architect and town planner and fundraiser. But in those heady days of 25 years ago, uh, I was head of the architecture department at Poole Borough Council. And I'm going to be asking Tom some questions about the uh, commissioning <coughs> and uh, engagement of Sir Anthony Caro to create sea music on Pool Quay. So Tom, th this remarkable um, installation of Sir Anthony Caro's sea music on Pool Quay some 25 years ago, how did it come about and what was your involvement in the project? Well it's quite amazing when I look back. Um, Probably in about 1988, Pool Arts Council was formally constituted and at that time the idea was that uh, the um, performing arts were very um, successfully represented at uh, Pool Arts Centre but the visual arts perhaps were not quite so significantly covered at that time and there was a feeling that it was important with the importance of the visual arts in this part of the world and the fact that so many visual artists uh, live in this part of the world that uh, it should be more fully represented uh, and therefore um, a meeting was held at Pool Arts Centre uh, to discuss this. I can still remember it. It's a huge room with quite a lot of people in it and the town clerk at that time, Ian Andrews, asked if he could have a show of hands for those who would be interested in carrying forward the idea of uh, Pull Arts Council. I, my hand shot up and uh, in, moving into I suppose 1989 uh, we decided that it would be wonderful to have a, an exhibition uh, in Paul which would bring together the importance of the arts and so on. Uh, and so we decided that uh, we would have it. it. It was actually held at the Civic Centre in Poole. Uh, and I contacted uh, Tony Caro and said, look, uh, I know you're interested in sculpture and sculpture out in the public realm. Um, and wouldn't it be wonderful if you could put forward a few thoughts, a few ideas about a location in Poole of your choice uh, and, and, how, and, and, and to explain to the general public how um, a sculptor looked at the environment, perhaps differently from an architect or from a, a, a painter, uh, and that would be very exciting. And, and he said, after some thought, yeah, fine, I'll do it. So he did a little maquette, only about so big, um, and we put it on show uh, in this uh, uh, first ever Pool Arts Council exhibition and it was a great success. I rang up again Tony and said, look, this has been enormously successful. Um, I wonder if you could maybe develop the idea a little bit further, uh, a few sketches and just, you know, because it, it, it's, it's caused a lot of interest and Tony faithfully did and then suddenly I thought well this is the moment when I ask him so I said Tony do you think we could possibly do this for real and in a way the rest is history